put that vulture in this cage and then we can shoot Hold it to on, death. Hold on, let me put away my weapons. Or somebody just like sacrifice themselves and run it that. into the cage. It needs to go. It's going to like one shot you. Go I know. into the <laughs> cage. Oh, uh, nope, that didn't work. That was the worst of the ideas I've ever had. We're just going to. Hold on, wait. You got this. Ask won't be safe. Don't don't get any bright ideas. Nope, it just decided it's going to leave. Okay. I'm going to leave this open just and hope we trap it at some point. I'm, I'm in the cage. Well, <laughs> wait, wait, leave her in there. Oh, damn. Hey. <laughs> I wanted to get a screenshot. It's fine. All right, back in the cage. All right, you're staying in there now. It's very appropriate that you're naked. <laughs> Are you dancing in the in your in your captivity? It's it's my go-go cage. What can I say? Oh my god. Well, despite that ridiculous intro, uh, welcome back to Atlas, everybody. Today we're working on building a bunch of stuff at the port. We've got these servers up and running perfectly now. We had some issues the other day, but spent the past day getting everything exactly how it needed to be. So if you are looking for a server to join, uh, feel free to check out the description. And to all my patrons, members, and sponsors out there, uh, if you so desire, you are able to join the company we're in. Uh, you don't have to, but it is an option for those of you that have supported the channel. So... Uh, regardless, I'm trying to make the smithy right now, and I believe uh, Asmodian is working on helping me as well. Although he's having some internet issues right now, so I'm just experimenting with a couple different things. Trying to make this look cool, and hopefully we'll be able to do something nice. We're also going to get the brigantine started today, probably explore a little bit. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I've been trying to keep them a little bit shorter, um, so that way you guys can watch them easier. You know, try and pack in the excitement here. I don't know, we'll see how this this format goes uh, but i'm gonna work on building this and if you guys really like this building then maybe i'll do like a full like rundown of exactly how to build it in another episode progress on the smithy is coming along quite nicely i figured i'd show you guys around what we got and i'm debating changing some stuff up here i kind of want to add like um a deck or something that you can walk up on i can't decide exactly where I want it. If I want it lower or higher, because I, I kind of split it up with these half walls to give it just a little bit more texture. I really like doing that in my builds. And um, so in here, we've got the forge. We've got a smithy here with two boxes above it that we can access. We can access these boxes from the top floor as well. We've got some storage here and here. And then I kind of want to make like, um, I don't know, a, a desk area here. So I've got to work on that. And then on the second floor, it can kind of make it like a, a little bit of a home. Uh, so somebody can live up here like the, I don't know, obviously the blacksmith or something. I like it. We can put more storage up here, weaponry and stuff like that. I'm definitely liking the way this is coming. I just kind of got to finish it out and make it look a little bit better. And I think we can. I also need to start getting all the stuff in here for the brigantine. We need a lot of things. 1,000 fiber, 2,000 thatch, 1,400 wood, and 160 metal. I believe we've got most of those materials. So we're going to start working on that here soon, too. Man, do we got lots of things going on today. Jesus. We got some upgrades. Asmodian was able to make us some a blunderbuss and a couple of flintlock pistols, which are going to come in really handy. And everybody's just been crafting up resources to pretty much make everything. And I'm just working on my brigantine now after having completed pretty much my little forge area. And I'm quite happy with it. So we've got our forge area. We need to make um, a temporary holding cell. And then we're going to make a full-on jail in the main town. Uh, but we've got our little smithy area with a... A little, a little porch, and I think it looks good with the overhang. Also placed a bank down here. Now, I know it's on the beach here, but we needed a bank and haven't quite fleshed out how the town is going to be built. So I think for now, this will be okay. We are going to make like a ridge line of towers full of cannons and stuff, so the port should be relatively safe. Um, but obviously, the bank's probably not going to stay there forever, but it, it actually kind of looks good there. So I'm not... Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should we keep the bank here? I know it's not the safest spot for it, but meh is what it is. We got a couple people here derping around. <laughs> oh, I actually really, really like this game. I know a lot of people hated it at the beginning, uh, but especially playing on the private servers, it is just so...
so good. Uh, but we are going to go over the bank here in just a second and exactly how to set your taxation rates. You can set your messages and stuff like that too. And as you can see, we got three floors on this brigantine. So lots of, lots of work is going to go into that crazy ass thing. It's going to take a while to make, but you know, it's going to be worth it. That's going to be one of our main ships. The only ship we can get bigger than that is the galleon. And we're probably not going to go for those for a while, but with this uh, taxation bank, what we can do is you can obviously you can access your inventory here and you can tax ignore uh, item types. So if you don't want to tax certain items, you can put them in here and that will ignore those specific item types. Like if you don't want like a bunch of thatch or something like that and you don't want your inventory to fill up with that kind of stuff, then you can ignore that tax. So that's really cool. And then you can set your territory message. Which right now we're going to set this since we're the Good Hole Company. I don't know why that's her name. Uh, but may all your holes be lubed. Lubes! Oh my god. I done jacked it up. Jacked it up good. May all your holes... Hold on. Holes be lubed. Duh, with the D. There we go. And then you can set your taxation rate. Now, you can set it between 0 and 30%, and we're keeping ours at 10%. We're going to be relatively friendly. We want people to come here and not be deterred from our taxation rate. You know, that's how you get people to come to your country or your area. So, I'm happy with the 10% tax. That'll get us some materials for anybody who gathers on our land. And uh, we'll be pretty good. I believe we'll get even gold. So a portion of the gold found on our land will also be deposited into our bank. So got a lot of things to do here, but let me keep working on the port and the brigantine. And hopefully, maybe we might even go out on a little bit of an expedition here for some gold. This is something I've actually not seen happen in the game yet. Uh, I haven't lost the ship, uh, but I logged off for the night and went to sleep and came back and... It looks like our Sloopy Doopy has sank. But when you when your ship sinks, it'll actually leave the wreckage behind. Which means you could go down and loot it. Now I didn't have anything here, but I figure I'd show what us like what wreckage looked like because it's a really cool feature. So if you sink a ship, you can actually go down and loot it. So you can check out and see if they have any boxes anywhere. You can even see all the health. So it looks like it just maybe got a little leak here and just sunk unfortunately but i didn't have anything actually stored on here so it's not a big issue but that wreckage will stay there for a while i think i'm not exactly sure how to get rid of it because it is right in the shipyard so hopefully it'll like just eventually dispose of itself i'm not 100 percent sure what what's gonna happen there maybe i need to take the steering wheel off to break it officially i don't know but it's a really cool feature. Still working on the brigantine here, but we do have a lot of stuff going on with the bank. And the bank is collecting things. It's so nice having it because anybody who gathers stuff in our area, it'll automatically take 10% of whatever they gather and put it into our bank here. And we'll be able to quickly get materials that way. Oh, well, this is exciting. Uh, I made a large cannon. I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to go on these particular boats, but lo and behold, this baby can... So I'm going to put the big cannon on the front of this ship here. And then hopefully I'll be able to fit two smaller cannons as well. But there we This is a huge-ass cannon. It should have been named huge-ass cannon instead of just large cannon. This thing is ginormous. So that's going to be the big bunker buster, I suppose. Because uh, that thing is redonkulous. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, I'm working on crafting up... All of our little, um, well, we need storage in here. We need how many cannons? I believe I just crafted up four, but we can fit. I can't put a cannon here and be able to get through the doors. So that's a little bit of an issue, uh, but I do want extra security, although we might not need it right now. Um, so let's see here. A total of four, five, ten cannons just for the below decks. Two up front, so that's 12. And then three on the back, so 15 total cannons. Well, we've got our lovely crew here. We've got Skids, Poops, or Pants, Asmodian, Corvinus, Smooth, Hitman, and I believe uh, Diaz was going to be joining us as well. I don't know where he is, but we're going to be going to the Freeport to get some crew members and farm up some metal. Probably takes down some ships of the damned on the way. I'm really excited.
We are definitely going to be hitting that one because that's right in the direction we need to go. Man that big old cannon. Let's take it out. I could try and avoid it as well. This one is basically straight forward. There is no left or right movement to this. Oh, really? Yeah, man. It's... Yeah. All right, we're going to go straight for it. We're going to try and take this thing out. If we fail, we'll just go make the brigantine. Oh, a <laughs> no, freaking monsoon. Really? Freaking tornado crap. All right, Diaz. You missed, didn't you? Yeah, that was a long <laughs> shot. Yeah. <laughs> Which side Turn. is it on? It's like straight in front of us. Oh, okay. Uh... Trying to turn you into it, Diaz. Did you miss again? No. no. Nice. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, let's get it. How do I escape when I'm... Uh... Just hit E again. E. Get it, Diaz? Oh, shit, biscuits. Okay, it's on like Donkey Kong now. All right, do we have cannons down below? Right. Yeah. Yep. Should be right on your guys' end. All right, we're going to have it chasing us now, so cannons on the back. Oh, God. Head it up. Oh, water's so freaking choppy. <laughs> <laughs> and we have just outrun it. I could turn around. Oh, shit, we got a tornado coming. Stand down. Stand, what? stand down. What? Stand down. <laughs> You ordered That's us to order. stand down. Oh yeah. no, I'm just I'm just struggling with the buttons here. <coughs> it doesn't help that these damn tornadoes are just I'm jacking everything up. Moment. I'm trying to angle us. Yeah. Alright, get it and then I'm gonna turn back. We got a level, baby! This is literally the worst possible situation to be fighting Ships of the Damned. I can't see. I don't know where it is. Oh, God. Uh, it's almost right behind us. Oh, oh, turn the butt. <laughs> I blame Skids. I didn't do it! Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. I, I forgot there's nobody down down downstairs anymore. I got anymore. it, I got it. I'm down here. <laughs> Get him! This is actually pretty good. Cool. Come right in front, I dare you. The ship is sinking. Is it Damage sinking? Damage blinks. Damage blinks. Oh god. Hit it. Have to stuff? Uh, we've got wood. All right, I'm turning around. Go on the back deck. In K mode all of a sudden. How bad are we sinking? Oh, we should be able to repair it. Just grab wooden stuff out of the thing. I am. I am. Uh, is it running away? Oh, uh, metal. It looks like oh, it. Oh shit! Metal. Oh god. There was a. F there was some metal left. Yeah, it's down there. Hold on. <coughs> Actually, I might have it, it on at? me. Is it just on the butt? Getting it. We have a hole in the ship. Oh god. We did not have enough crew for this. It's almost done. Oh, we are definitely taking on water. Oh, God. It's down. There's plank, plank. Oh, God. Yeah, we need a plank on the back wall. Oh, I'm dying. Quickly. Oh, God. I am so close to We don't have enough thatch and we don't have enough wood. God. Why can't I? It won't. This is a tragedy. <laughs> oh, God. There we there go. We go. We're nice. Good. We're good. Oh Look man! Hold on. We still, got, we still got leaks, but don't need more material. All right, so, so no more ships of the damned. Mean? Yep, that was a bad idea. You guys ready to fight some army of the damned? Oh dear yeah. God! All right, they're gonna. I don't know how we're gonna get this because it's like inside of this big ass rock, but I guess. I'm wet, so I'm super slow. At the moment. <laughs> Oh, that's why, right, you've got why, that freaking heavy metal armor on. Why are you so moist? <laughs> so, I've never seen one like... Oh my god. 
Okay, yep, they're coming. <laughs> Prepare thyselves. You missed all of those shots, didn't you? They don't let me hit them when I've actually <laughs> like when they're res when they're spawning. It doesn't let me. Hit them. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a weird thing. All right, so there's a couple more. They will go underground though, so keep keep that in mind. Oh, I missed. They went, they went underground again. I'm gonna try and reload. Oh, we got one over here. Oh, look at you up there, yeah. king of the mountain. Yeah. Of course, I freaking missed. <laughs> we got the big dude left. Look at that. Is he trying to dig? How do you prevent him from digging? I have no idea. I also don't know how we're going to dig in this giant rock with a shovel. <laughs> Get him, Diaz. I'm a believer. Why I'm not... Help. How did I miss right in front of him? I'm just gonna sit here and reload and watch. <laughs> you guys have fun. Dim. One of us does so much damage. Yeah. Oh my god. Through solid rock. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What we gonna get? One point seven quality. I got hide pants and a shovel blueprint and a Wee level. You. Oh yeah. Put your seatbelts on. It might feel a little bit of turbulence going through this zone. I wouldn't recommend moving. Stand still. What are you doing? Sorry. Skid. I wouldn't recommend moving, and then Skids jumps on the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we yeah. made it! Oh, nope. I was just. Saying. Every captain. Who is that? Uh, it's a little bit captain darker Hook's here. Little first mate dude. Tweed or. <clears throat> Everybody needs a retard on their boat, and that's what I'm here for. Whoa. <laughs> uh, the good old Freeport in C3. We finally made it. And this is where we needed to go, the crew recruiter. Now, crew is five gold coins each. So, let's see what happens. I haven't bought... Oh, God, he just came in from an angry Anne Silver, following Count Tagula. It looks like she comes with some basic equipment here. Uh, can we get her to follow? The real question is, how do we get them... Like, I, obviously, they level up. So, crew costs one gold coin every 1.7 hours. Now, did I get a level up while I was out? I have nine points, and I wanted to put stuff into captaineering. So payment crew payments uh, plus... Oh, payment period. So it doesn't decrease the amount of money, but it's every 1.7 hours. So let's see here. If I increase... The, oh, man, she has got a face only a mother could love. Sweet baby Jesus. If I learn that, it's still 1.7 hours. I have no idea. So we'll figure this out as we go. So angry and silver. Aggression level attacking your target. So it's basically like having our own like dinosaur pretty much. Oh, we can show ancestors? I wonder if we can make them breed at some point. Oh, that'd be so cool. Can we rename it? Behavior options unclaim. Okay, so we can't rename it. Options behavior. We can change the behavior. Modify ordering groups. So harvesting settings. All right, so we cannot rename her. So we got Angry and Silver. We need a couple of these guys here. So we're going to spawn these in one at a time, and I'll introduce you to the whole Kree. Pretty Mary the Strong. Oh, my God. She's a beast. So I'd like to introduce you to our crew so far. We've got four, five, six crew members right here, and I believe that's all we're going to get today. Uh, but we've got uh, Dread Joan Nine Fingers, another terrifying lady. And we got One-Legged Sue Black, who's got two legs so her name is a lie not exactly what's going on there we got one male so he's gonna have to breed with all of these fine young ladies to be able to get more crew members oh my god so we ended up with one male his name is he's also a lie one-legged john the mighty he's got two legs and he's probably not very mighty either then i got angry and silver and crazy mary and then dread jo what is that 
Dread Joan nine fingers. And she's probably got ten fingers and ten toes. But regardless, we have our crew. I have no idea how I'm going to get them on the boat, though. This is going to be a little bit of an adventure. Some other things that we want to get while we're here. Are they closed up? Yeah. So stuff back here is what we need. I need to get, I need to get some for all the crew members. So we need uh, top hat skins. So I'm going to buy... Oh, I got ten of them. There we go. So ten top hat skins from that. And then cosmetic clothing. The craftable eye patch skin. Let's do that. So that gives us 10 every time we get it. That's actually really nice. There we go. Oh, those are expensive. I got all the pieces of that. And then we can buy dyes for one gold apiece. Although the dye is actually relatively easy to make. But there's so many different colors. It's actually really cool. It does bring us to the end of today's episode. We've got our magnificent officer outfit on. We're going to die this, but we're going to spend a little bit of time here on this island getting our crew members leveled up. We've got to farm up some metal because it is here, and we'll probably recruit some people into the company. But I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Plenty more to come. We also started a Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare series on the channel, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. You're not drowning that way, right? No. Alright, you're just gonna stay there from now on. <laughs> you're not causing trouble out there. I was just trying to get I'm, the I'm pretty sure that's how they like tortured people in the past. <laughs> yes, that is. They they tie them to a rope. Tell us all I lost her. Drag under the Where do you think that okay, close the sails, I lost her. Now I'm gonna drown.